everyone, I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News update. Thanks for joining us. Great news for the Ministry of Tourism and the Cayman Islands. As the Minister of Tourism and Deputy Premier, the Honorable Moses Kirkernel is named Caribbean Tourism Minister of the Year for 2015. Last year, Caribbean Journal launched the first ever Caribbean Travel Awards to honor the hotels, destinations, and people who help make Caribbean travel better. Caribbean Journal officials say this about the Cayman Islands, quote, much of the tourism infrastructure in the Cayman Islands is so good that you could be fooled into thinking it's easy, but it's thanks to sound management and a genuine concern for the visitor experience. Cayman Tourism Minister Moses Kukrunala, our Caribbean Tourism Minister of the Year for 2015, has provided just that from stewarding another very strong year of arrival growth to more importantly helping to launch the long-awaited rede redevelopment of Grand Cayman's main airport. It's a tremendous award for Cayman Airways to be recognized as the number one airline in the region. The, the importance of Cayman Airways to us as a country and how it connects us to the outside world is now being recognized as the region itself. As you see Cayman Airways adding flights into the region, they just added a recent Cuba flight. Um, they certainly connect Jamaica to us. They look into the region by going to Honduras. So I think that was, again was recognition from uh, the, the region of the importance of Cayman. The 2015 awards also recognized Cayman Airways as a Caribbean Airline of the Year and the Ritz-Carlton Grand Cayman as a Caribbean Hotel of the Year. The annual Best of the Best Roundup looks at the region both from the perspective of the people who travel to the Caribbean and the impact the tourism industry has on this beautiful part of the world. Well, as we reported on Monday, Premier the Honorable Alden McLaughlin started off a busy week of activities in London for the Overseas Territories Joint Ministerial Council meetings. Before today's meeting started, Premier McLaughlin led discussions with other overseas territories on the issue of beneficial ownership at an association level. He told his colleagues that it is critical going into JMC that wherever feasible, we as overseas territories speak with one voice, especially on areas of mutual interest. So this meeting is in essence our final tune-up before we sit with the UK government. The JMC plenary meeting, which is hosted by the Minister for the Overseas Territories, Mr. James Dudridge, opened in London today. Cayman beauty queen Tony Chisholm left our shores last Friday to compete in the annual Miss Universe pageant being held in Las Vegas, Nevada. Before heading to the city of stage shows and entertainment, she stopped in California to pick up her fire coral costume designed by LA-based costume designer Rocky Gathercole. Tony will compete against 80 other beauties from around the world on Sunday, December 20th. The pageant will be televised on the Fox Network, Fox Network starting at 7, 7 p.m. that night. Of course, we wish Tony all the very, very best. Well, today, December 1st, is the 26th anniversary of the World, of world AIDS Day. The day raises awareness about the epidemic, honors those who have died, focuses attention on issues that are key to a successful response, and inspires positive action. This year's theme points to efforts on ending the AIDS epidemic. According to data, 17.1 million people don't know they're infected with the virus and need to be reached with HIV testing services. HSA HIV coordinator nurse Laura Elninsky says, release data of the decreasing numbers of those infected strongly suggests that we're indeed on the fast track to end the global AIDS epidemic, as this year's focus suggests. As always, if you missed today's news update, you can get all our details on our Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. Don't forget to tune into Radio Command's talk shows. That's Talk Today and for the record, week mornings and week afternoons. For now, I'm Donna Bush wishing you a wonderful night, thanking you for joining me, and hoping you'll do the same again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now.